second concept that we are going to talk about is economic profit, business profit and accounting profit. Remember when I was talking about opportunity cost, it is kind of an implicit cost or mm -hmm. hidden cost, is not it? Yes, sir. It is not very clear. Okay? So, one way to say what is implicit cost? The cost that does not involve monetary transaction okay and second let's talk about explicit cost it requires monetary payment that is clear? Hmm. Okay. Now, we can talk about economic profit as well as accounting profit. Let us say that you have after graduating from this institute, you decide to start a business and let us say you are from just for example, that you are from Kanpur and you own a big a house here and you decide to operate this business from your own house okay let's say to run this business run this business you invest your 5 lakh rupees Okay, you invest your 5 lakh rupees and you also hire a worker, fine, you hire a worker and you pay total let us say 5000 rupees per month to that worker, okay, fine and you need to let us say, let us make a business, you know you have, you sell cloths, okay. let us say your total revenue is, your total revenue is 3 lakh rupees okay. and the cost is that you bought 2 lakh rupees worth of or rather So, it is the first month of operation, so do not worry about it or you can make it 5 crore to look it really nice huh? and it is revenue is 3 crore and 3 crore is oh, it is not 30 lakh, so let us keep it sorry, let us keep it at that level, okay. fine and cost of this cloth is 2 lakh 90 thousand rupees. Fine. Sir, where has he invested then? In hiring a worker. No, he has hai. hiring per month. Okay. He, this he has used. Here. This has used as cost cost and money. Okay. okay. That he has to pay to <coughs> operate. Mm -hmm. Fine. And let's say the cost of electricity. That is is 5000 rupees. How much do you think is his profit? 5000? Five how much is his profit? Let me ask you how much is? 10, 0, 0 minus 5, he is making a loss of 5 lakhs, 5000. No, 5 lakh is the caution money that he would get back okay 
that he would get back. Okay. Caution so money typically you get he back is when you seize no the profit. operation. He is making no so, profit. this is not a sunk cost. Hmm. Bro, oh, sir, electricity is how much? Electricity 5000 ka, sorry. 5000 ka. It can't be of 5 lakhs. 5000 per month. Sir, zero. Zero? Hmm. 10,000. 10,000? Revenue. 10, revenue minus cost. Revenue minus? This is the no, cost sorry, of sir. Sorry, uh, sorry uh, it would be zero, zero. Zero. It is zero. So, what you are doing basically is that you are looking at revenue and you are looking at the total cost. Total cost is 2,90,000 rupees plus 5,000 and plus 5,000. Hmm. By the way, these look at these costs. These costs are explicit, explicit costs. Cost. Okay. Hmm. So, and this is what you enter in the your account book. So, your this is your accounting profit. It is zero. Hmm. But what we are missing is some of the implicit costs. What are those implicit costs? So, this man typically this also is taken care of in the accounting book mm -hmm. that this is 5 lakh and you would earn let us say of course, you will have to make an assumption you will earn typically let us say 10 percent then how much is the cost? Not 10 1 percent monthly let us say 1 percent mm -hmm. monthly then it is 5000. 5, then you are making accounting profit of 5, minus 5000. Sir, sir, we are earning on that caution money or you are not are earning losing? on the caution money, you are losing. Okay, losing. You are losing. You could have put this money in the bank, that is the opportunity okay, okay. cost. Right. Oh. So, so minus business would take care of it. Hmm. So, the this is minus 5000 rupees. Hmm. Is it clear? Hmm. But how about economic profit? What we do, we take accounting profit and we subtract opportunity costs, implicit costs and what are the implicit costs? Opportunity cost. Opportunity cost because you are, I assume here that you are running the show. Okay? You could have earned, let us say if you had taken one of the job that placement office offered you you could have earned some money per month term hmm. that you are foregoing. So, when we calculate the economic, let us say you could have earned 25,000 rupees per month. So, now economic profit here in this case 30, is 000. minus 30,000 rupees. And sir, even the interest on that cost of shirt, shirts? Have that here we are assuming that there is no interest or anything. In that no, case, no, two lakh ninety thousand I have put in the bank also. No, if I had that money, but here you are, you are already earning the revenue here. See what you are assuming is that. Okay, I understand your question. Just to clarify, what you are assuming that you have paid two lakh ninety thousand rupees to get the cert, and mm -hmm. then you are selling it. Mm -hmm. That's what you are assuming. To keep it simple, you say that you do not need to pay anything for the you know in the beginning of month to get the certs. Towards end of the month, once you realize your revenue, immediately let's say the revenue realization and payment for the cert both are taking at the taking place at the same time. Just okay. to keep it simple. But if hmm. if it is so happening that in the beginning you have to pay for the cert, typically that's what I'm talking about is the common practice. Fine. So, in that case, you will have to include the interest that could have been that could what you could have earned on this payment. But typically, let us say here we are assuming that you are not spending, and that would be your economic profit. Hmm. Here in this case, it is minus 30,000. Okay. So, what we are saying, just for example, like let us take a mom and pop shop. And a person is selling and he has his accounting profit is 10,000 rupees after paying for the worker, after paying for the all the raw material and all the inputs. What we also need to consider that what he could have earned if he had worked outside his business hmm. and that is the payment for that particular person. 
that also needs to be taken out typically in accounting book that is not mentioned you understand the difference between economic profit and accounting profit so when we say that there is no economic profit what we mean is that after we take care of the opportunity cost and all nothing more is left like just let us take an example here we have a firm capital is rented from outside and labor is provided by the owner okay and when we say this venture is turning to out to be zero economic profit then the first question that people ask that then why he is working in his shop so how did we calculate what are the cost the cost is r multiplied by k hmm. that is the rent, rent on the capital and also ways w that he would pay to w himself hmm. when we talk about accounting profit what we are doing we are calculating p multiplied by q that is p is price q is the quantity p q is the total revenue minus r multiplied by k hmm. that is the payment for the capital and this is typically accounting profit. accounting profit hmm. but this is not economic profit what is economic profit pq minus rk minus, minus ww WL. this is implicit this is hidden he is not paying himself and then this you will get as economic profit is it clear yes very very clear okay the next we are going to talk about is cost versus benefit and cost here as he he was saying what we do we keep this benefit this is that accrues accrues to a person and cost is what you incur okay and typically this benefit has nothing to do with the cost but what we are precluding is a scenario where let us say your utility function depends on the how much money you have paid for that particular good in that case these two are not independent what we say that you get pleasure because you consume a particular good not because how much you have paid for it in that case we keep benefit and cost separately okay fine so what we have to do is whenever we decide let's say we have a bunch of activities let's say x1 x2 there are n activities you can do which activity will you pick what you need to do basically is to figure out benefit for each of these activities bx12 bxn and what you need to know is the corresponding costs again in economics we always talk about we always consider the opportunity, opportunity cost. cost always it is the opportunity cost that we talk about okay not the accounting cost and then what we need to do is we need to figure out b x 1 minus c x 1 and so on and which activity will you pick which has the activity the which has highest value of Bx. Bx minus Cxi. And once you pick the activity, what would be your opportunity cost of the, picking this activity? The because cost, now you the don't value. have just two ah. options, you have more than two options. So, which what would be your opportunity cost of choosing activity mm -hmm. I? The, the summation of all the other no, the value of the second maximum the value of the second maximum because you cannot do all other at the same time so it's the cost of 
best alternative for gone so you have to figure out the second most net beneficial se second second most beneficial activity hmm. in the net term and the value associated value that you would have gained if you had participated in that activity would be your opportunity, opportunity cost. cost 